Do you know that the highest paid football player earned $350,685 per day in 2022? If you don't, congratulations, you will know the highest paid football player in this video. He is not the World Cup champion Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo as you might have thought. Today, I am going to talk about the top 10 highest paid football players in 2022. Two of the top 10 players are from the same football club, Manchester City. Can you guess who they are? Comment below. Football is one of the most popular sports in the world. There are many footballers who are quite popular in this game. They earn huge paychecks on both on and off field. Off field income mostly includes brand endorsements, licensing, appearances, advertisements and sponsorships. This income does not include the player's investment income such as interests or dividends from stock markets. At the end of the video, I will tell you how a stock market can help every one of these top 10 footballers become a billionaire even if they stop playing now. This is very important because a player's earnings can drop significantly when they get injured or when their publicity dwindles. 10. Kevin De Brauna. Kevin De Brauna, born the 28th of June 1991, is a professional footballer of the Belgium national team, playing in Manchester City. We know that there is a lot of money in Manchester City. So, Kevin decided to renew his contract in 2021 to extend his adventure with the club until 2025. His off-field income comes from brand deals such as Nike, Wow Hydrate, Credit Karma and Therabody. His estimated total income for 2022 is $29 million. Even with the lowest income of the top 10, he can become a billionaire in a stock market simply at the end of the video. There is a player playing in Japan on my list. 9. Andres Iniesta Andres Iniesta, born the 11th of May 1984, is a Spanish professional footballer playing as a midfielder and the captain of J1 league club Vissel Kobe. He won every trophy in Spain when he was playing for Barcelona and even won the Euros and the World Cup with Spain. He is making a lot of money in Japan. According to his deal with the Japanese team, I think he will be playing there until he is retired. The 38-year-old launched his own sportswear brand Capitan in September 2022. It debuted with a limited edition launch of a signature cleat and is aimed toward the Japanese market. His estimated total income for 2022 is $30 million. 8. Eden Azar. Eden Azar, born 7 January 1991, is a Belgian professional footballer playing as a winger or midfielder for Real Madrid. Eden Azar barely plays football anymore because of his ongoing injury treatment. However, he still earns $27 million per year although he spends less time on the pitch since he arrived in Madrid after leaving Chelsea. He just had 6 goals in 72 La Liga and Champions League matches over 4 seasons. His estimated total income for 2022 is $31 million. 7. Robert Lewandowski Robert Lewandowski, born 21 August 1988, is the captain of the Poland national team, playing as a striker for Barcelona. Barcelona should be happy with the estimated $45 million transfer fee paid to Bayern Munich to get Robert Lewandowski in 2022. He scored 12 goals in just 10 matches. The Polish national has a brand deal with Nike and his own RL9 clothing line. His estimated total income for 2022 is $35 million of which $27 million is on field and $8 million is off field. The number one highest paid football player has made almost four times the amount Robert Lewandowski made in 2022. 6. Erling Holland. Erling Holland, born 21 July 2000, plays as a striker for Premier League club Manchester City and the Norway national team. The Norwegian striker left Borussia Dortmund to join Manchester City to join the steps of his father, Alfie Holland. With the yellow shirt, Haaland was outstanding in Germany. He scored 61 goals in 66 football games. That was the main reason why Man City decided to give him $35 million per year. They expect a lot from him because they're still dreaming about winning the first Champions League trophy in the club's history. He has signed a great 5-year contract deal so that he does not need to worry about money. His main focus will be scoring goals and helping his new club to win all the titles. Holland is expected to earn $4 million in endorsements annually from sponsors like Hyperice, Samsung and Viaplay. 
Reports suggest Holland's next shoe deal could be worth as much as $18 million annually after his previous agreement with Nike expired in 2022. His estimated total income for 2022 is $39 million. 5. Mohamed Salah He is nicknamed as the Egyptian King. Mohamed Salah, born 15 June 1992, is the captain of the Egypt nation team, playing as a forward for Liverpool. After a stellar Liverpool's football season that nearly delivered Liverpool the Premier League title, Salah was named England's Footballer of the Year and Playmaker of the Season. He also received the league's Golden Boot Award. His estimated total income for 2022 is $53 million of which $35 million is on field and $18 million is off field. With a proper investment strategy, he can become a multi-billionaire in a stock market. I will explain how he can do that at the end of the video. 4. Neymar Jr. Neymar Jr., born 5 February 1992, is a Brazilian professional footballer playing as a forward for Paris Saint-Germain, PSG. Neymar made history in 2017 with a record $263 million transfer to PSG. In May 2021, he extended the contract through 2025, and helped convince Messi to come aboard later that year. His estimated income for 2022 is $87 million of which $55 million is on field and $32 million is off field. 3. Cristiano Ronaldo The Portuguese captain Cristiano Ronaldo, born 5 February 1985, five times awarded the best player in the world, made a comeback to Manchester United in 2021 after leaving in 2009 to play for Real Madrid and Juventus. Even at the age of 37, he can still score a stunning number of goals. So, it's safe to say that paying good money for him is like buying a good investment. The sooner you invest, the sooner you could have a quality retirement. Despite a sharp decrease in game time, Ronaldo is the world's highest paid football player off the pitch thanks to the brand sponsors such as Nike, Herbalife and Livescore. His estimated income for 2022 is $100 million of which $40 million is on field and $60 million is off field. If we look at the money he made during his career and his current earnings, Cristiano Ronaldo could be one of the highest paid footballers in the world. You should be able to guess the highest paid football player in the world for 2022 by now. Comment below. The correct answer will get a shout out. 2. Lionel Messi Lionel Messi, also known as Leo Messi, born 24 June 1987, is the captain of the Argentina football team which recently won FIFA World Cup 2022. He plays as a forward for PSG. Messi won the award for the best player in the world. Even at the age of 34, his value is highly appreciated since PSG did not hesitate to give him a $41 million contract. The football world was shocked when Leo decided to leave Barcelona Football Club after 20 years. When playing in Barcelona, he managed to earn more than playing in PSG. He used to have contracts over $50 million in Barcelona. Still, Messi is by far the highest paid footballer over 30 years old. Like his rival Cristiano Ronaldo, Leo Messi is approaching the end of his career but he still can make good deals in the future with PSG or any other clubs in the world. Even before winning the FIFA World Cup 2022, Messi has been earning like a king off the pitch. His off-field income for 2022 is estimated to be $55 million. Now that he has won the World Cup, that figure could grow by as much as 20%. His estimated income for 2022 is $120 million of which $65 million is on field. 1. Kylian Mbappé the first place goes to the young French professional footballer Kylian Mbappé who plays as a forward for Paris Saint-Germain and the France national team. After collecting three of the last four Ligue 1 Player of the Year awards, Mbappé has become the face of French soccer. Considered one of the best football players in the world, Mbappé is renowned for his dribbling abilities, exceptional speed, and finishing. His agent did an amazing job making him highest paid football player in the world with on-field salary and bonuses of whopping $110 million per year. The 24-year-old PSG football star didn't just break records on the pitch. He's the youngest football player ever to have reached such a high wage. His estimated income for 2022 is $128 million of which $18 million is off-field. Which football player do you like the most? Why? Comment below. 
Like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now I'm going to show you how these footballers can become millionaires and how their money can change in three scenarios and how you can become a millionaire by investing $10 a day. Number 10. Kevin De Bruyne, the lowest paid footballer of the top 10 footballers. It's estimated that Kevin made 29 million in 2022. We're gonna use his 29 million to calculate how much his investment can grow over time. 29 million initial investment, then he contribute every month 2.4 million. You divide 29 million by 12, so you get every month monthly contributions. Let's say he contributes this amount equally every month. 2.4 million. How much his investment gonna grow over 10 years? We put in 10, then the interest rate 10 because SMB 500 stock market on average grows about 10% every year. So after that, we calculate we got 537 million dollars in 10 years. Look at it, look at it, how much difference his investment grow because of investing in stock market. One amazing thing is that once you start investing, you don't see so much difference in year two, year three. The difference between the two lines are not so much, but if you look at from year seven, the difference is so much different. He contributed $233 million in total every month. He contributed it all adds up. Then the future value because of the interest and compound interest rate, the stock markets, it grows to $331 million. So 100 million difference on year seven. That's so much different. And year eight, 393 and 261, more than 100 million difference. The year nine, 462, 290s. The difference is getting bigger and bigger. That's the power of compounding. That's the power of contributing every, every single month. And also that's the power of investing in stock markets. So just imagine, even the lowest paid footballer of the top 10 can make so much if he invests regularly in a stock market. So you're gonna ask, hey, what if I just want to invest 29 million? I don't want to contribute every month anymore. Let's go and take a look. And if you put in 29 million, just one lump sum, and you don't look at it, and you just keep investing, you know, don't look at the stock market, don't look at the news, don't, don't look at anything. Then after that, after 10 years, your investment is gonna become $75 million. So you are just putting 29 million. After 10 years, it more than diverse your investment. But the difference between putting every month and not putting anything at all is so much, so much different. You just minus $75 million, from 537 million, it's more than five times, more than five times. Now you ask me, Mental Rich, what if he stops playing? Can he still become a billionaire? Let's go and take a look. Let's say he stopped playing for whatever the reason, he got injured, his publicity dwindles, or he changed his mind, his career, whatever that is that he just put in 29 million dollars one year income that he no longer invest anything at all he just put it in the stock market after 37.5 years his investment will have become one billion dollars so he could become one billion dollars if he invests in the right investment s and 500 on average is, is about 10 percent every year's return so if you look at it if he starts playing he just need to put in his investment and hold it for 37.5 years to become a billionaire. So it's totally possible, but it does not mean that it will become possible because anything can change. The stock market return can become 12%, 15%, or it can become 5%. So anything can change, but on average, S&P 500 returns about 10% every year. If you hold it for a longer time, Let's look at the next one. Mohamed Saleh, he's estimated to make $53 million in 2022. So let's look at how investment can help him become a billionaire. Let's say he put in $53 million at the beginning, then he contributes 
4.4 million every month. So 4.4 times 12 becomes 53 million. Every year he invests the same amount. His income will most likely grow over time. But let's just assume that he's going to contribute the same amount every year. So over 10 years, how much his investment can become? Close to $1 billion. In 10 years, he just put in the same amount every single month. Then after that, he just needs to wait for 10 years. So let's say he just put in $53 million and he doesn't want to put it anymore in the stock market. What's going to happen? He put in $53 million just one time. Then he hold it for 10 years. His investment could become $137 million. But that's so much difference. If he put in every month, his investment could have become close to $1 billion. And it's just only $137 million. So it's close to 10 times the difference. So the more you put in, the more difference you will see. That's the power of compound interest, compound return of investing in stock market. What if he stops playing? He gets injured or he's retired. Let's go and take a look. Can he become a multi billionaire? Let's go and take a look. He puts in $53 million. He stops playing, he's retired. Then what could happen? How long could it take? To become a billionaire, one billion, thirty-one years. So all he needs to do is just put in fifty-three million dollars, hold it for thirty-one years, and he could become a billionaire. And how about multi billionaires? If he holds it for the next, let's say, thirty-five, four more years, four more years, calculate one point four eight nine billion. Hey, he's getting closer to becoming a multi billionaire. So let's say he hold it for another 9 more years. So 31 to 9, 40, okay, initially 40. Then after that, he become multi billionaires within 9 years difference. Just 9 years difference from 1 billion to over 2 billion. It only took, it only takes about 9 more years. 9 more years. And if you just reduce it by one year, 39, let's see how it's gonna come out. Point one in billions. So basically, eight more years. Then after that, just reduce one more year, 38. Say 1.98 billions. So in order for him to become multi billionaires, he needs to invest and hold it for 38.5 years. Let's do a take a look. Yep, that's right. Basically, from a billionaire to multi billionaire, it only takes about 7.5 more years. On 21st years, he will have become a billionaire. Then, after 7.5 more years, he will have become a multi billionaire. That's the power of compounding. Just imagine, it is going to take him 31 years to become a billionaire. But in order for him to make another billion, how much could it take? Only 7.5 more years. That's so amazing. That's the eighth wonder of the world. Wouldn't you like that in your life? That's why I always, always keep investing regularly. Put in more, put in more. The sooner you put in, the more you put in, the sooner you, you will see the big difference. That's how you become rich overnight. Next, let's look at our favorite soccer players. Cristiano Ronaldo, he's estimated to make $100 million in 2022. If he puts in $100 million at the beginning of the investment, then he put in $8.33 million every month equally for the next 10 years. So how much could his investment can grow? He could become a billionaire with 10% return every year his investment will have become $1.8 billion just within 10 years. This is just so, so amazing. What if he just put in $100 million and he doesn't want to put in any more? That in that situation, his investment will have become $259 million. That's a big difference. If he put in every month, 
hey, investment could have become close to $1 billion and now it's only $259 million. Then what if he stops playing and he's retired tomorrow and he just put in $100 million? Then how long does it take to, for him to become a billionaire from this $100 million investment loan? With an average return of 10% every year, his initial investment of $100 million could become a billion dollars within 25 years. This is just so amazing. If he just stops playing and retire, he just put in $100 million and within 25 years, he could become a billionaire easily with an average return of 10% every year. Next, we're going to look at the world champion footballer. Number two, Lionel Messi, $120 million. If he puts in $120 million at the beginning of the investment, then $10 million every month for the next 10 years, his investment will have become over $2 billion. He's going to become a multi billionaire by putting equal amount every month and in 10 years. Very, very possible with an average return of 10% every year. Next, he just puts in $120 million. He doesn't want to put in any more. Then, in 10 years, his investment will have become $311 million. So that's still a lot of money, even though he just put in just one time. $2.2 billion versus $311 million. So that's almost 10 times. 10 times. Can you imagine? With the 10 years, if you notice the difference, he makes a lot of money. $120 million every year. So the more you make, the more you put in every month, the more, the bigger the difference is. Now you see the difference. The power of compound interest, the power of S&P 500 stock market, and also the higher income that you have. It makes so much difference in the whole world. So increase your income, put in investment every month, then wait and hold for the next 10 years. Why 10 years? Usually stock market has a bull market and bear market. So if you put in 10 years, you just give it time to become full sucker. If you put in at the beginning of the bear market, you, you will have lost money. But if you are patient, just put it every single month. When the time comes for the bull market, you will have captured the, the gain. So that's why I say 10 years. 10 years is a magic number in my professional opinion. Now you're gonna ask me, I don't make 128 million dollars. What should I do? Can I still become a millionaire? I'm gonna show you how. I don't make so much money. I can't save a lot of money. How could I become rich? Could I become a millionaire? Is that even possible? Let's look at it. If you just put in 3650 at the beginning of the investment, why 3650 is You just put in $10 a day. One year has 365 days. So 3650 at the beginning in an S&P 500 stock market. On average, S&P 500 stock market return about 10% every year. So you put in every month, 300, 300, 300 every single month. Very, very equal amount. Then over 10 years, your investment could have become $66,800. Over 10 years, your investment could become $66,841. If you look at it, at the beginning, it's not so much different. You're not going to see so much difference. And you put in 21,000, your investment become uh, 27,000. But on oh, year 7, it's so much difference. You put in 28,850, your investment will have become 41,266. On year 8, 32,000, 48,000. Year 9, 36,057,000. The year 10, 39,000, 66,000. So it's almost double. That's so amazing. If you do the same thing for 20 years, your investment could have become $230,000. That's a lot of money. 
If you do the same thing for 30 years, your investment will have become $655,000. You are getting really, really close to becoming a millionaire. If you invest $300 every single month, you are doing the same thing. You don't need to save more money. You don't need to make so much more money. You just do the same thing every, every month. Then in 40 years, your investment will have become $1.758 million. $1.758 million with an average return of just 10% every single year. Can you believe that? It's just so amazing. So that's how you become rich overnight. It feels like a long time, but a lot of people are going to think you become rich overnight because you have been doing the same thing for every single month, every single year. For the next 40 years, you are becoming a millionaire. Let's look at the chart. The first 10 years, not much difference. The first 20 years, not much difference. Yeah, 75,000 you put in. Then your investment will have become 230,000. Yeah, it's still more than uh, three times. It's more than three times. More than three times. Just remember, it stay more than three times, even if you do the same thing for 20 years. But the magic becomes so much difference on year 30. 111,000 you put in, your investment will become $655,000. Six times the amount of your investment that on year 40, that you will have put in 147,000 contributions. But with the average return of 10% every single year, your investment will have become $1.758 million. It's more than 10 times. More than 10 times. That's how you become a millionaire. That's how you become rich overnight, over time. You don't need to save more money. You don't need to make so much money. You just put in $10 a day, $300 every month, then $3,650 every single year without any lapse in your investment, without any gap. You just do the same thing every single month. That's how to become rich. That's how to become a millionaire. Of course, it's not guaranteed that you're going to become a millionaire. You know why? Because most people don't do the same thing every month. Something happens, they buy a TV, they buy an iPhone, they buy a new car, they buy every single things that are not necessary. That's how they damage their financial freedom. And I don't want you to become one of them. If you want to become rich, and if you want to become a millionaire, you just do the same thing every single month. And invest in good investments. That's how you become rich overnight and how you become a millionaire. Like, share, subscribe. Do you want to retire early? Do you love freedom? Do you want to work only one to two hours a day while traveling around the world and spend more time with your family? You can start stock investing and option trading right now. If you want to know more about finance, stocks, options, real estate, crypto, check out our playlist, stock investing, stock trading, option trading, real estate, cryptocurrency.